How was college today? Yeah, no, it was all right. You look sad. Do I? What's the matter, Jessica? How can I help you feel better if you won't tell me? Fine. Well, go on then. I'm just tired and it's just exhausting going to college every day and feeling the same. I just feel so alone. You know, it's like you reach out, but they can't even hear you. It's like they can't see you. I feel like that sometimes, like I'm a ghost and people don't want to know me. They just see me as famous and scary. Which you know that's all. That's love. You see me as a, a loner and a loser and a weirdo and they pick on me, you know. They call me a zombie for feeling tired. I suppose people have different experiences. We're all different. And people don't get that. And I don't see it. It's stupid. I love you. And you love me. And that's all that matters. And I'm so happy when we are together. Me too, Mum. Hey, do you remember when we used to dance to this when your dad used to play them? Yeah, he used to spin around so much, he just got so busy at that I love these old songs. <laughs> They're great. Yeah, I love them too. They're weird, but I feel like they are kind of weird. Do you call my beats with it, or whatever your kids call music these days? Those kids just call it music. Music is the best. It so is. Right, it's getting on a bit now, we need to make dinner. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Can we dance to it with? One well, last time. Alright, one second, and then that's it, we're going to make dinner. Baby, 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 You eat that all the time, so don't be picking on. I can eat what I want, thanks. And I'm not eating that. Trying to poison me. Listen, will you sleep with me tonight? I feel quite scared. I need to sleep in my own bed tonight because I really need to get some rest. Oh, please. Right, fine. I'll bring my duvet in. And will you wear this hat that I made you? Mom, Mom. It will protect you. Look, we know you're ill. And these tinfoil hats, they don't do anything. <sighs> it's true, I tell you. It's the government. They are reading our brains. They are putting thoughts into our heads. <laughs> these hats will protect us because they're coming for us tonight. Not, Mum. 
We're really not. Just calm down, okay? <laughs> what are you doing me? Look, right, don't cry. I didn't mean it. I'll wear the hat, all right? I'll wear the hat. Yeah? Let's just get some sleep, okay? that I walk across. Nobody else walks across this. They get driven in cars or cycle on bikes or get the bus to college and I think it's just me. Me and my mad bitch for mum. I love her so. My mum's playful paranoia. She's like my little sister. My mum. She's so nice. Mum's so kind. So gentle. So vulnerable channeling her brain towards protecting me from the government. The government and its secretive missions. All she wants to do is protect. Protect us. It must be hard for her. When even I see her as mad sometimes. When even her husband has given up on her. You know, I think we're all mad. We aspire to be part of a subculture where we can only make friends with a marginalised group of people without opening ourselves up to the world. How we have to be heterosexual. How we have to identify with our biological sex to avoid hate from society. How the girlies bitch about each other. How the boys beat each other up. How people kill and people rape and kidnap and kill and still. It's my mum who's mad. How the police throw their own aggressive kind into prison. How the women get paid less than men. How the government doesn't have enough money to pay the National Health Service. How we have to pass a one hour exam to get a low paid job. And still, my mum is mad. My mum is not mad. She's just prepared. Like the conspiracy theorists of America are prepared with their bunkers and guns. Like countries are prepared with their armies. Like families are prepared with their health insurance. My mum thinks something bad might happen. And so does everyone, so does everyone else. My mum's not mad. She's my mum. My life partner. My best friend. My mum. Sometimes I feel like jumping off this bridge. Enough bad things have happened to me, all the name calling, all the bullying. And the tutors, they don't understand. They kick me out of lessons. The student services, do they even exist? They bully me as much as my peers do. And everyone, they're all so different. They aren't tired. They aren't hungry. They aren't lost and desperate. I'm so jealous. How they get to go home to a full meal and clothes all washed and dried and everything they need. They have. And I wait and wait for the next time I'll have a hot meal made by someone else other than me. When I'm no longer so behind with coursework when I can experience life outside of college, home, work. But I wait, and that circle of hope in my brain is getting smaller and smaller. And so, should I not just jump?
We need the big red key. I'll get it, alright. Track her, this shit. No, she's got mental health issues. <laughs> she fucking won't you, you know. Just watch it. Calm down. Losing my mind, and nobody has called me on the helpline. We're here, aren't we? I don't want you here. I don't want you here. You shouldn't have started screaming then, should you? The neighbours have called us all concerned. Louise, do you know what's happening? You're going to take me away. You're going to take me away. I'm afraid we're going to have to. We're going to have to section you. Oh, that's it. Take me to another fucking psyche ward. Don't be swearing at us. Oh, it's all my fault, isn't it? Don't be swearing at me, don't be screaming. It's all my fault, isn't it? And I don't want to go with you. Well, come on. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use these and I'm going to have to cuff you. Well, come on. <laughs> I'm alone now. And I've got nobody. Nobody that I love and nobody that I care about. And what's life when it's just you? When it's so incredibly boring. So incredibly sad. When there's no fun, there's no bounce off buddy, there's no child, there's no mummy. There's a misfit with no misfit friend. I'm a goner. And what will I do from here? No big broadcast would be quite complete without those three little girls from New Orleans. Permit me to present the Boswell sisters, Connie, Vet, and Martha. <laughs> 